George Soros is one of the biggest spending political donors in the world. With a net worth of $25 billion, he has funded the most powerful groups on the American left, including arms of the Democratic Party, ACLU, Center for American Progress, and the presidential campaigns of Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. So it's worth understanding who he is and what he thinks. Soros made his initial fortune as a hedge fund manager. He is infamous for breaking the Bank of England by shorting the British pound in 1992, leading to the currency's massive devaluation and a crisis in the British economy. Influenced by philosopher Karl Popper and his book, The Open Society and Its Enemies, Soros claims to advance Popper's vision of a society averse to totalitarianism. An open society is one that values individual rights and recognizes that because perfect knowledge is impossible, our social institutions ought to be open to new ideas and change. And so Soros' political and philanthropic operation is called the Open Society Foundations. Later, as Soros' views took a dangerous turn away from Popper, he continued to lay claim to the open society concept. He claims there is a deep-seated conflict between capitalism and open society. He's a proponent of European-style socialism and thinks China has a better functioning government than the United States. Soros takes a concept he calls reflexivity and applies it to capital markets, an idea not taken seriously by most economists. This, he argues, makes it impossible for a market economy to remain stable and justifies government intervention in markets. This turn from Popper has led Soros to fund political groups worldwide determined to destroy free markets. And so the so-called open society Soros claims to want isn't really open at all. Soros funds the Institute for Policy Studies, which has had multiple fellows call openly for violent tactics to destroy the US government. Soros money funded Occupy Wall Street, a movement dominated by anarchist and communist revolutionaries, and whose supporters held up signs saying, Jews control Wall Street. Soros funded Black Lives Matter, which publicly calls for riots and violence against police officers, and United We Dream, an organization that tries to warn illegal aliens in advance of immigration raids. Perhaps Soros's influence is best summed up in his own words. We are trying to make the world a better place, but that's not always what we accomplish.